Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miranda and I make sewing and DIY videos every Sunday. Okay, so today I'm very excited about this tutorial because it is a bedding that zips up, it goes on like a sheet, when your kid is done sleeping, they can zip it right up and the bed will be beautifully made. Like, wow. I've been doing a lot of research on tutorials for how to make it yourself and I haven't found any yet. So I'm super excited about this video because if I'm the first person to make a tutorial on this, it would be awesome, right? Okay, so if you want to learn how to make this, keep on watching. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, this is the materials you're going to need for this project, so just take a minute to look it over and see what you're going to need. We need to finish all of the sheet pieces, so I just surged all the way around all of them, but you can use a zigzag stitch on your machine. Now you're going to sew your soft material with your topper material, wrong sides touching. Now you're going to take your big sheet piece and a short piece and put them right sides together and sew it. This will be at the top of it. Now I'm just putting my zipper foot on my machine. This helps so much with sewing a zipper and most machines come with it. Now I have my big sheet face down. I have a long side piece face up with the zipper face down on top of those layers. And we're gonna sew all the way down that side. That would be on the right side. Now we're gonna go down a couple inches, skipping over that zipper pool and start sewing from right there. Now we have to go back up to the top and pull down that zipper pull so we can finish off the top of the zipper. Now we're turning over that zipper and we're going to top stitch that fabric to the zipper. This is important because it stops the zipper from catching the fabric when you zip it up. Again, we are pulling that zipper down and sewing where the zipper pull is in the way before. Now I laid my blanket with the top face up and the zipper face down on the left side and we're gonna sew all the way down that. Here we are again, stopping for that zipper pull. And we have to top stitch that side as well.
And now we got our big sheet face up and we got our blanket on top of it. And we're gonna line up those edges. And then we're gonna put another long side face down on top of those layers and pin all the way down. Now we have to sew on the bottom short side to the layers. Now we have to sew all the corners together, right sides together. Do this to all four corners. Now I have the whole thing with the right side facing down and we have to make a casing for the elastic by hemming a one inch seam all the way around it. I'm sorry for the brightness. <laughs> it was nighttime and my exposure was a, a little too bright. Here I'm just showing you that we're going to leave a two inch opening for the elastic to go in and out of. Now taking our elastic we're going to take a safety pin and put that on the edge of our elastic so that we can put it through our casing. Once the elastic is through, pin them together and then zigzag stitch it closed. Now I'm closing that casing up. This is optional, but since I didn't finish off the top edge of that um, blanket, I'm just putting fold over elastic over it and sewing it without stretching it. You can use ribbon, you can use the fabric, you can just do whatever you want here. Where's Briley? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! So, did you like it or what? Yay, I'm so excited. Also, just the fact that you don't have to spend $175 to way more than that on this certain thing and that you can customize it to whatever theme you want that is just awesome so i hope you guys like it i hope you share i hope you like i hope you comment i hope you subscribe and i hope that you enjoyed this video thank y'all for watching